Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Mind Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Sitecore 8.1 on your Windows machine. Before we begin the installation part, let's take a look at some of the prerequisites. So the first thing you would require is IAS 7.0 or above, which needs to be installed on your machine. The second thing would be you should at least have .NET Framework 4.1 or above installed on your machine. Sitecore 8.1 is compiled in .NET Framework 4.1. So if you have a version which is lesser than 4.5, then your Sitecore will not work properly. Coming to the operating system part, you should at least require Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 installed on your machine. If you are going to install Sitecore on your server edition, then you should at least have Windows Server 2008 or above. Coming to the MS SQL part, you should at least have MS SQL Server 2008 R2 and above. Sitecore also requires MongoDB from 8.1. In order for PowerShell to work properly, you should have a MongoDB 2.6.5 at least the minimum version. Last but not least is you should at least have a modern browser which is IE 9 plus or Firefox 17 plus or Chrome 25 and above in order for Sitecore to work properly. So if you have all these prerequisites then you are good for installing the Sitecore. What about the hardware requirements now? Let's take a look at hardware requirements very quickly. The minimum configuration which is recommended by Sitecore if you are running on a single computer is 4 core processor with 8 GB of RAM. However, the recommended configuration is 16 GB of RAM from Sitecore itself. Coming to the installation part, I am going to install Sitecore 8.1 here and you should have a valid license in order for Sitecore to work properly. Let's begin the process. Click on the exe package. This will bring up a setup wizard. Click on next. Here you can see it will ask you to create a new instance or use an existing instance. If you click on new instance, a new instance of Sitecore will be installed on your machine. If you click on existing instance, you can actually go ahead and remove if you have any of the Sitecore previous installation. I have already installed one of the application called as test app. Now if I select an existing instance and click on next, it will remove this particular instance. So I am going to click on a new instance and create a new thing. Click on the license agreement, click next. Here you can see there are different types of installations. First is complete. As you can see, a complete installation is nothing but it will install the Sitecore client as well as the databases on the same machine. If you select database only, this will just install the databases. Usually this will be installed only on the database servers. And there is the last option called as client only. If you select client only, only the Sitecore website will be installed on your machines. This is actually suitable for installing this on the servers. Since I am installing in my local machine, I am going to select a complete installation and then I am going to click on proceed. Here it will ask you the instance name. This is nothing but an application name itself. I am going to give sample mvc app. Click on next. Now it will ask you for the valid license file. I am actually going to select this license.xml. I am going to click next. Now the part comes where you have to select the database. You can either choose SQL Server or if you have an Oracle Server or Oracle Database installed, you could also select Oracle. I do not have Oracle installed on this machine, so I am going to select a SQL Server. Take the Database Server, give the login ID and the password. Click on Next. This will ask you where exactly you should get installed the site code. By default, it will get installed in iNetwork WW root and the instance of the application name which you have chosen there. It will create a folder and it will install it over there. Click on next. It will also ask you the website name. You can give the same thing. Click on install. 
So this will take a minute. We'll come back once the installation is completed. As you can see, the Sitecore installation has completed. You can launch the Sitecore website using by checking this checkbox or you can just click on finish and open the browser and type the instance name. Remember, we had given as sample MVC app. This was the instance we are given. Hit Sitecore slash login after that and click on enter. If your installation is success, then you should get this login screen where you can enter your username and password. The default username will be admin and the password is B in small case. Hit on login. You should get the Sitecore experience editor mode on the next screen. Click on the content editor and then select the home item. Go to publish. Click on the experience editor. This will bring up a editing mode of the home page. You can go ahead and change anything. I'll make this as add tutorial. I'm going to save this. I'll come back to content editor. I'm going to publish this item. And then click on publish. So this will be published to live. In order to verify if everything is published properly, I'm going to open a private window and then I'm going to type sample MVC app. As you can see, whatever we have changed is appearing on the live content also. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.